business or, or relationships, they either get better or they get worse. The lukewarm is what God spits out of his mouth because it doesn't exist. The lukewarm is not in the universe. There's not a knife edge of the lukewarm. It doesn't exist. You lie to yourself when you don't choose because if you don't choose, you've still made a choice. And the fake liberal system is a counterfeit of a liberal system. It is the fraud. It is anathema. It is bondage. It is death. It is debilitating poverty. You look at people that live under welfare, and you look at their ancestors just three, four generations back. I've seen the photographs. I've seen the case studies. And they are upright, smart people with their eyes on fire three, four generations ago, I don't care if they're poor whites in the Appalachians or poor blacks in Dallas, Texas, they now look like someone has sucked their soul out and they've got butts four feet wide and have got diabetes and die when they're 40 years old. They have literally been torn into pieces. They have had their souls sucked out of them from a very young age to feed a system that wants to destroy them in a desecration of the creator's creation, a vandalization of beautiful creatures. Now, I'm not signing on to that. God fear isn't even so much in my gut fear of the creator. It is fear of the free will to join the evil and that abyss. And then you recognize the evil in you and become fundamentally fearful that you are not shedding enough of it before you roll off this mortal coil. It's for that reason I repent of all my thoughts that have been bad, my greed, my selfishness, and my flesh. And compared to most people, people would consider, if you knew me, to be an extremely upright person. But the humbleness is because I know it is dirty rags. I can see reflected in the universe the face of the master builder, the grand architect. And I can see how great I am, but also how weak I am. And I'm going to get emails saying the grand architect's a Masonic term. No, it says that in the Bible. Of course, all the systems have taken those names and every symbol and appropriated under their own groups. I am not going to be judged anymore by other people taking symbols. The New World Order takes the American flag and uses it for evil. People say, I don't want to see that flag. How about we remember it for the good things it symbolized? We need to take back the culture, take back the symbols, and take back the truth because the enemy claims they have it and they don't. The truth was always with us from the beginning. The power was always with us from the beginning. And the solutions were always those of us that have a heart towards justice. And even though we do bad, and even though sometimes we stumble, we look back on it with a true heart and repent like David, who was a man who did terrible things in passion, but truly repented, and so was a man after God's own heart. That is the secret to turning this evil around, is getting our heart right. Let's talk to Brent in Texas, then Nelson, Bill, Frank, and Phil. Brent, thanks for calling in on this Friday edition. Welcome to the airwaves. Hey, Alex. Uh, thank you for taking my call. Uh, the reason that I'm calling is because I stumbled across a video on YouTube, and what it basically uh, is is there's a guy named Sergeant Major Payne, and this guy claims to be the first soldier in Afghanistan as well as the first soldier on the ground in Iraq. He's uh, affiliated with the Special Forces, and this guy claims that uh, in the video that he believed he was giving an interview to a church, but it turned out that it was an Oath Keepers meeting. Now, in this video, the gentleman actually says uh, that there are Spetsna troops, uh, Special Forces troops from NATO and uh, other countries that are stationed all over the United States, and I know this is a topic that you've covered before, but this gentleman actually goes into details of how he's personally seen them, uh, the troop numbers, the troop, the bases that these troops are located at, uh, 
it's really a wealth of knowledge. There's a lot of his well, personal views. Sure, sure. I'll have to look into it. And I, and I don't want to sit here and make judgments before I've seen it, but generally claiming I'm the first here, I'm the first there. Troops have never left Afghanistan or Iraq ever. There's always troops there. There's always undercover people there. Um, the foreign troops are openly in the NLE tabletop exercises that FEMA made public in 2009. So there's mainstream articles about how they plan to use North American Union stabilization forces, as RAND Corporation calls it, and we give folks documents. Or we tell people where the listed FEMA camps are. Um, if the person's giving facts... If the person is is is, is breaking down uh, the specifics, uh, then great, we can go check them and verify them. Uh, I I don't know specifically, but thank you for the call. We'll look into it. All right, Bill, James, Frank, Phil, others. I'm gonna try to race to your calls on the other side. Don't forget Infowars Nightly News tonight, seven o'clock Central, PrisonPlanet.tv. Attention, all radio listeners. Survival Life is giving away free credit card knives exclusively to our radio listeners here today. Visit MyCreditCardKnife.com to see this covert knife in action and claim yours for free. It's the same knife you've seen in the airline magazines for $29.95, but today it's yours free. Just pay shipping and handling. MyCreditCardKnife.com, MyCreditCardKnife.com. Go now. Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions. SilverLungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs generator and lung delivery system at SilverLungs.com. That's SilverLungs.com. Hi, folks. Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. <laughs> In the U.S., one in every 50 homes will have a break-in this year. Burglars call it smash and grab. Police call it robbery. We call it avoidable. We are Fake TV, a simple electronic device that can fool even professional burglars. Fake TV easily plugs into any outlet and simulates the changing colors of a television. To a burglar, it looks like someone must be home watching TV, so they'll likely move on to an easier target. At only $29.95, Fake TV costs less than a month of most alarm monitoring plans and comes with free shipping. Order your Fake TV by calling 877-5-FAKE-TV or go to faketv.com. That's 877-532-5388 or faketv.com. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. Don't worry. This show is documented. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. I fell into a burning ring of fire. I went down, 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 and the flames went higher. And it burns, burns, burns. The ring of fire. The ring of fire. And it burns, burns, burns. The ring of fire. The taste of love is sweet when hearts like ours meet. I now realize, and I'm just going to leave it at this, that the entire quest of life is to build societies of honorable, good, decent people 
and to have friends and family you can count on. That is true wealth. And every civilization that was great knew that. In fact, civilization was never built on anything but that. The Greeks, the Romans were very upright at first. They only became nightmare corrupt at the end. And I just think God, your lucky stars, whatever you want to call it out there, that I've had such a great life and been around so many good people. And I don't know why I'm talking about this so much today. It's just that I've been really upset this week about everything that's happening. And I just have had a lot of peace this morning that everything will turn out okay in the end. My greatest frustration is the world is so complex and it's so hard to properly articulate what I'm trying to get across to people on the issue by issue basis. And I know how the enemy's already spun everything. So how do I decode that and try to reach through so people have that epiphany? I want freedom for humanity because that is the oxygen of liberty. I want people, just like you want people to be free. So what do we have to do? We have to become aggressive, but also in our aggression against evil, we don't want to cut corners and become evil. We don't want to use the ring of Mordor to defeat the evil. Because when you stare into the abyss, you become the abyss. So we have to have that debate. I'll tell you where we start. We stop the late-term abortions. We stop using abortion as birth control. We start valuing human life again. We stop killing old people on death panels. We start demanding quality products again. See, we've just settled for crap, myself included. Crap food, crap culture, crap everything. And we've turned into fat slobs. And I don't just mean physically fat slobs. Spiritually, I'm a fat slob. I know what quality is. I know what beauty is. But I am too lazy to even demand it. And so the world rots. And the same goes for you out there, folks. We know how to fix things. I need to shut up and go to calls. I apologize. Bill in Minnesota, you're on the air. I'll quit preaching. Go ahead. Hi, Alex. Um, uh, first time caller. Uh, I'm a little nervous. Great to talk to you. Um, if I could, I'd like to give you a little, my little story quickly about uh, police state and then talk about um, my experience with people not wanting to open their eyes to what's going on. Uh, my background here in Minnesota is a um, musician. I go by the name of Stick Up Kid. I've got some CDs out there and iTunes and all that. But I was a stay-at-home dad, and my wife took over the family business uh, as a land developer. So we were doing pretty well. Her business was doing well. Next thing I know, we're having troubles in our marriage, and the locks were changed on me. And all of a sudden, I'm homeless. So I'm trying to you know, save the marriage, figure out what's going on, work it out. And I show up, and she's having an affair with a cop. And from then on, I've lost everything. So, um, Yeah, I but well, you need to understand, as bad as it's been for you, that cop and everybody are going to have horrible lives now. And it's all going to come back on them. But, but let's talk about it when we come back. That's just part of the general evil. But I want to hear how they use the system and... What they did to you. you know, they tell women to change men like you change your, your wardrobe. Thank you for listening. And, and men to are pretty bad too, but women are being Visit told the thing to do is break today. up marriages. That's that's the thing to do. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply 
companies worldwide remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride, it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139.